Okay. Here we go. <clears throat> what? Sorry. What are you doing? I'm starting the vlog. I'm so sick. <laughs> Hi guys, um, welcome to the first ever episode of Suddenly Se oh, wow. Hi guys, and welcome to the first ever episode of Suddenly Seymour. My name is Dalton, um, and I'm here to give you guys a, an exclusive behind-the-scenes look of the process that is going into creating Something Something Productions production of Little Shop of Horrors here at Cork's Restaurant and the Playhouse Theater in Niagara on the Lake. Yeah, we kind of wanted to do this vlog to get you guys, you know, interested and to see how much fun we're having back here because the cast is amazing, the music is beautiful, and the show is hilarious and we're having such a good time that I wanted you guys to get kind of an inside scoop of how it's going. So just so you all know, the vlog is going to be, you know, it's going to have some rehearsal footage, it's going to get some interviews with the cast and with the creative team, um, you guys are going to keep up with us as we go through these next few weeks, because we open on September 9th. Let me give you a little info about me and the show first. So, uh, like I said, my name is Dalton, uh, it's Dalton Bolton, <laughs> it rhymes. Um, I'm actually playing Seymour Krellborn in Little Shop of Horrors, uh, hence why the vlog is called Suddenly Seymour. <laughs> I've worked with Something Something Productions before. I was part of one of their very first shows ever, uh, the Rocky Horror Show, um, and I've known the owners for a long time, and it was kind of fun to get back into this group again because I had such a fun time with them before, and to be a part of this now of such a big kind of spectacle show again with them is so much fun and especially since I get to play Seymour which is a dream role of, of mine it's even better so I'm surrounded by an amazing cast an amazing creative team I get to play this quirky geeky little lovable role and uh, I also get to talk with plants that's the dream job yeah so something something productions uh, has been established here at Cork's Restaurant in Niagara on the Lake. Um, there's a theater upstairs, it's the Playhouse Theater, and um, they've been doing productions for probably about five, six years now. Um, and so uh, it's, it's, you know, it's a great way to show community theater, um, especially in the Niagara region because, you know, there's Shaw Festival, in Niagara on the Lake, and there's also um, Garden City Productions in St. Catharines, but you know, uh, Something Something Productions is more of a community, th of like a professional community theater, and it's giving actors such a big opportunity to, you know, do these more obscure shows that a lot of theater companies in the Niagara region don't usually do. So it's, it's a huge opportunity for people to be a part of and to experience and everything, and I've loved my time here and the time I've had with them and uh, I highly recommend for any actors out there if you want to you know branch out and uh, you know pass those boundaries of yours by all means keep in touch with something something productions and uh, come audition for their next show <laughs> so a little bit of Little Shop of Horrors if you guys don't know Little Shop of Horrors is based off the movie the original movie which is ooh, I want to say it's probably in the 19 50s, 60s, maybe? Um, it was this old black and white movie about a young botanical uh, enthusiast who comes across this new plant life and he decides to take care of it no matter what the cost and unfortunately that includes feeding it human bodies and blood. <laughs> lots and lots of blood. <laughs> that movie spurred off to become a musical with the music by Alan Menken and Howard Ashman, kind of the same composers that did all your favorite Disney movies, especially uh, The Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast, I think. There was a new movie that they made for the musical that starred uh, Rick Moranis, Ellen Green, and Steve Martin. Um, and it's kind of had a little bit of a cult 
following because you know it's such a it, it's a hilarious slightly campy musical but it also can be very dark in some themes so it's a it's a very interesting musical to you know put on in um such a small town as like niagara on the lake or whatever but it's definitely something that everyone should see because it's it's a great show it's you know, there's a lot of talented people in this cast, which you guys are all going to meet. I'm going to do some interviews with them. Um, and, you know, each week maybe we'll do, I'll get you guys to ask some questions, you know, on our um, event page. Or I think we're, I think there's a Twitter account. Maybe you can tweet us, you know, um, or and you can follow on Instagram too. But I'll give you guys all that information at the end of the video. And so that's pretty much what this vlog is going to be about. You guys are going to follow us during our rehearsal process, get to meet the cast, and, you know, everyone's going to voice their opinions on this process and everything. But it's going to just be a fun little memory to, uh, maker for us and the cast. And it's going to be great for you guys to see how the process is going. And so I'm so excited to get started. And I'm so excited for you guys to be a part of it and um, to come see the show, of course because it's a hilarious show and everyone should come experience its bloodiness and campiness and beautifulness because it, at the heart of it, it's actually a beautiful show. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's enough for me. I'm actually going to get one of the cast members to come back and we'll do a little mini interview with them. Just ask some basic questions or whatnot, just so then you guys can get a feel of what this vlog series is going to be about. Um, but besides that, thank you guys for watching, and be sure to keep up with uh, the Suddenly Seymour series. Um, hopefully I'm probably going to make a video once or twice every week, maybe. We'll see how it goes, or what the response is, so that way you guys can get to meet the cast and everything. Be sure to check in every once in a while. <laughs>
<laughs> Turning the AC up, I guess. <laughs> She plays our Audrey, we'll get to her later. <laughs> Sorry, going back. What character would you like to play in the show besides a Greek chorus member? I'd want to play Seymour. Girl, it's already taken. <laughs> oh no, it's okay. Why, why would you want to be Seymour? I love dorky characters. Yeah. I like anything that's kind of like, they try so hard and then life is kind of beating them down. But they pick themselves back up again. Oh, so. look at this girl. Little underdog herself. All right, so now we're going to do a little bit of a lightning round. Okay. So I'm going to ask you a question and like, let's say I'll give you like five, ten seconds to answer, okay? So you got to be very on the ball with this one, okay? okay? All right, so first one. Favorite color? Orange. Favorite food? Greek food. Greek. Okay. Anything Greek. <laughs> Favorite drink? Mmm, tea. Okay. Just tea. Just tea? Literally any tea. <laughs> Favorite musical? <sighs> One. Oh god. Two. Um, next to normal. Ooh, yes. okay, there we go. Right, good one. All right. What is your ultimate dream role? Any character in any musical? Um, my ultimate dream role is Alex Owens in Flashdance, the musical. Really? Yeah. Okay. That's if I could dance. <laughs> <laughs> you got some moves. I see you moving the hips out there. Minimal yeah. moves. <laughs> All right, and then because our show is based around you know like a plant taking over the world and stuff, what would you say is your favorite flower? Oh, mm. my favorite flower is tiger lilies. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, cute. Mm, I like orange. Oh. Orange, right? That's your favorite color. All right. Well, thanks for being here, Juliana, well, thank and being you for the having me. first interview on our little vlog here. <laughs> Anything you want to tell the folks about the show? Um, come see it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good. Plain and simple. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for coming. Awesome. <laughs>